Animal Equality conducted an investigation to expose the cruel and inhumane methods prevalent in the fishery sector. Several hatcheries, fish and shrimp farms and fish markets in West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana were documented as a part of this investigation. India contributes about 6.3% of the world's fish production and as it becomes more and more commercialized, the fishery and aquaculture industry has adopted abusive production practices. The cycle of cruelty begins with a process called fish milking in which the eggs from a female fish are squeezed out by hand. Fish suffer from excruciating pain, trauma and stress during this process. The fingerlings are packed in small plastic bags and are transported to the farms. Intensive type of fishery and aquaculture adopts various methods like artificial ponds, recirculating aquaculture system, open sea cages. These methods put the animals in a very unnatural and uncomfortable environment. Thousands of fish, shrimps and other animals are reared in small enclosures. Overcrowded fish suffer from stress, aggression and physical injuries such as fin damage. Overcrowding can also lead to poor water quality, leaving the fish with less oxygen to breathe. At the farms, fish are given feed laden with antibiotics to grow their bodies unnaturally fast in a short period of time. This blatant and unregulated use of antibiotics leads to antibiotic resistance among consumers, leading to fatal conditions. India is rated as one of the top countries for antibiotic resistance. The lifespan of carp can be 20 years, but those bred for consumption are slaughtered within a year. Many of the fish are crushed to death by the weight of other fish when they are caught in nets and dumped into containers. When taken out of water, Fish try desperately to escape and return to the sea. The traditional method for killing farmed fish is to asphyxiate them by leaving them out of the water or on ice, leading to a slow and agonizing death. Fish production also violates human rights. Scientific studies have proven that children who are exposed to such horrific acts of cruelty become desensitized to the suffering of others, including humans. This is also a blatant violation of the laws related to prohibition of child labour. Fish farms adopt water-intensive practices for sustenance and pump out large quantities of groundwater which comes from rivers like Krishna, Godavari and Kaveri. A typical one-acre pond with five-foot depth would require over six million litres per single filling. Considering the looming threat to climate change, these rivers may dry up or change course in the near future, leading to drastic reductions of the water table in the region. Fishery and aquaculture farms require large tracts of land. They are mostly set up in areas with an abundance of water. Naturally, such areas are most suitable for agriculture due to easy availability of water. However, thousands of hectares of fertile land is now converted into water bodies. This has reduced the agricultural yield from these areas and it also threatens the food security of the region. Fish that reach the market are sold in very unhygienic conditions. They are thrown in containers and covered in ice while they are fully conscious. Their gills are cut without prior stunning resulting in them bleeding to death. They are also left in the open containers to suffocate on land just as we would suffocate in water, slowly and painfully. Some species of fish, like catfish, are kept alive 
and slaughtered at the market. Animal Equality has presented these findings to the Government of India along with a list of recommendations to reduce the suffering of fish. Please urge the Government of India to introduce these recommendations.